Howdy friends. I've had a busy day. I've had a very productive day. I've got supper cooking over yonder. My Instapot. <laughs> I have one of the original, probably two or three quart, probably three quart. Not big enough for nothing. And I started putting stuff in and it got full before I was finished putting stuff in. So I took it out of the Instapot and put it in my big crock pot. So instead of having it for lunch today, I'm going to have it for supper. Well, actually, I'll probably have it for three or four days. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be good. It smells delicious already. I, for Christmas last year, I bought two of those big Instapots that they came out with a little over a year ago. Those things are nice, but I bought them as gifts for friends. I don't have me one. I got to go get me one because that little original one it does a great job it just doesn't hold much and when I cook I don't like to cook that often but when I do I want it to last for a while so I got to get me one of those big insta pots but anyway uh, I've done three loads of laundry I've got my big duvet hanging out on the clothesline in the back hoping <laughs> Instead of freezing, I'm hoping it'll dry. It's, it's liable to freeze, though. I washed it. It hadn't been washed in a long time. Usually, I take it to the laundry because they have the big washing machines and big dryers. But I didn't want to get out, so I washed it in my washing machine. But I don't like what it does when I put it in my dryer. It's, it's got stuffing insulation in it, and it, it keeps me warm. That's all I need. At night when I go to bed at minus 20 degrees, I turn the uh, furnace thermostat down to like 45 or 50. And that duvet keeps me very warm, toasty warm. It's good. It's heavy and it's big, but I've got it hanging out on the clothesline in the backyard, hoping it doesn't freeze. It's liable to be a piece of ice when I go out there. And I don't know, I, I might have to turn the heater up tonight if I don't have it to cover me up. But anyway, that's not what I came here for. I've been, besides doing all of that, I have been spending a lot of time in the Bible today. And God has really given me some good stuff. I don't want to share some of it with you. The first one, I've got just several scriptures I'm going to share the first one is in Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. And this is Revelation 13 begins, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. That's the devil. That's the during the tribulation period. Okay? You got that? Now in verse 8, it says, And all that dwell upon the earth, shall worship him, talking about the devil, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Got that? The Lamb's book of life that was the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. All right, now let's hop over to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works. Our works, friends, will never save us. We will never be called according to our works. But according to his purpose, God's purpose, and his grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before the world began. God has no plan B, my dear friend, God has no plan 
B or C. God has plan A. And it was perfect. And this whole plan A for you and for me and for everybody was laid out before the foundation of the earth. All right, next we got Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 through 6. According as he, God, hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us to the adoption of children by Jesus Christ, the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of of the glory of his grace we're saved by grace through faith to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved bam y'all God gave me some good stuff I mean it's all good but when he puts it together like this for me it is like the cherry cream cheese pie. i tell you what. There ain't much can beat that. All right, what else we got here? Revelation. Revelation chapter Verse 9 and 10 says, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, talking about Jesus, thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Bam! Go! One more. First Peter. I think I already read that one. Oh, this, I hadn't read it. 1 Peter 3.18. I'm going to read you 17 and 18. God just gave me 18, but I'm going to read the 17 too. 17 says, For it is better if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. That deserves a bam all by itself. Now, here's what God gave me, 18. <clears throat> for Christ also hath once suffered for our sins. And y'all, when we're suffering, our suffering is nothing compared to what Christ did for us on Calvary. There's no way our suffering can compare to that. So we need to stop our little whiny baby attitudes. For Christ also hath once suffered for our sins, the just for the unjust. Jesus is just, we are unjust. That he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, 
but quickened by the Spirit. And that was that. And I've got one more. Well, maybe i got three more. <laughs> I tell you, I, the Holy Spirit's been giving me good stuff today. Y'all need to get the Holy Spirit to do that to y'all because it's exciting. It's fun. Be back shortly.